Can someone explain to me what's going on right now? Why is there a chicken in my backyard? What's going on everybody? Gino coming at you again with another video. Today, I'm gonna be uh, working on the Celica. I gotta figure out why the engine is running like crap. I, I really cannot just figure it out. Like. I'm gonna give it my best shot today and uh, I thought I'd do a good deed for my dad and, and clean up his truck a little bit And he's got plastic dip on his wheels, so I thought I might touch those up, too Yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna drive his truck into the backyard right now Probably shouldn't. Oh, no, my flip-flop just came apart. Uh, probably shouldn't but yeah, let's get started There's a lot of crap in here, just like it really needs to be vacuumed, dog hair, uh, you know, he likes smoking cigars, which is fine, and there's a bunch of crap back here that all needs to be organized, so I'm going to get started quickly doing that. We like going fishing and stuff, so that's why, you know, that's why we got fishing poles, we got valve covers back here. We just got a lot of crap back here. That's a cover off his Dodge Dart, not a new Dodge Dart, because, yep, but yeah, I'm going to get started. Do I need plastic dip in here? I do. Bum, 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 bum. Plastic dip. Holy shit, this camera zooms in really far. So I actually took the side trim pieces off on the, uh, on the side rail over here, right here, and I took it off and it was actually cracked. I fixed it, I glued it together, and I painted it, so I'm going to let that dry. And I'm actually going to do the same thing to the other side. Yeah, as you can see, it's um, kind of barely in there. So I'm going to see what I can do with this and uh, try to get it out. Also another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to tape off this front bumper and uh, I'm going to spray this over with Plasti Dip, gray Plasti Dip, not the black one. This is all like faded plastics and the colors actually kind of match. So I'm going to go over this and uh, it should come out pretty, uh, pretty good. Ready to surprise my dad with this. <laughs> and voila, here it is. Came out pretty good, if I do say so myself. Didn't get any overspray on the truck, which is good. It looks like one solid color. So I got the Celica jacked up. I really just need to see what's going on under here. See if I tightened everything down. I'm gonna put a jack stand. I just jacked it up for now. But I really need to see what's going on here because I, I don't know why this engine's running terrible. And if you notice, the uh, shield is gone. Now, <laughs> that actually ripped off when I was moving the car. Um, so I'm dumb. That's, that's broken. And, uh, yeah. So now I just have to take it all off. Well, I guess it makes my job a little bit easier, but at the same time, uh, probably should have taken it off before I drove the car and it ripped off. I literally drove over it and it just ripped off. So, I'm gonna start by taking all these plastics off. And then let's see if I forgot to tighten something or something's not right. Can someone explain to me what's going on right now? Why is there a chicken in my backyard? I live in a neighborhood. Why is there a chicken in my backyard? I turned around and I thought it was my dog. He's coming closer to me. Now he's going underneath my car. Okay. Well, you have fun, Mr. Chicken. I'm gonna get back to work. So I checked the timing again. It was all good, it lines up fine. I was thinking maybe it, I moved it a tooth or something like that. 
I checked the bolts, everything was tight. I checked to see if there was any loose connectors. Everything was tight. And then I'm like, for the hell of it, I'm just gonna take the heat shield off because it's annoying me. Then I found this crack in the header. And there's actually like little baby ones over here too. There's a big line one over here and there's a baby one right there. I'm wondering maybe that can cause it. I'm not too sure. It didn't do it before, which is weird. It only started happening when I did the water pump on this. So I really don't know. Um, it, it is definitely a possibility though. I will be replacing this now. I was gonna anyway with a, like a performance one of some kind, but I mean, I don't know. I'm looking for vacuum lines. I got a comment in my last video saying clean out the uh, mass airflow sensor, which I'm guessing is, is this right here on the throttle body or it's an idle air control, I'm not too sure. Cause usually sometimes the MAF is on the intake, but this is just a uh, intake air temp. But I'm gonna try taking this sensor out right here and cleaning it if I can even take it out. I'm not actually too sure about that, but I'm gonna try and see if that does it. Uh, and that crack in the manifold isn't worrying me about the issue, but it's definitely a possibility. So this is actually a throttle position sensor. I didn't know that. See when when you turn it, it turns the throttle. So this is actually a throttle position sensor, I'm guessing. So it's not a math sensor. There really is no math sensor. See the RPMs still drop. My foot's held at the same position, but they're like they fall. See, look at that, and then it revs up. I honestly have no idea what to do here. What's up guys, I'm back. It's been a little while. It's the same video, but it's like a week later. I've just been really busy with school and just getting stuff done around my house. As you can see, I uh, organized my little shed area a little bit. Now I have my parts washer. Uh, I'm gonna work on the Celica. I gotta, do, I gotta do a little bit of work on my dad's car too, but I'm gonna do the Celica first. I'm gonna try to fix this freaking hesitation problem and my dogs are screaming. So the two things that I have that I'm gonna try to use to fix the engine are the fuel filter and a thing of heat. The reason why I think it's a fuel problem is because I let the tank run pretty low and it might have sucked up some water, had some crap in it, and it might have clogged the fuel filter. I don't know. So I'm gonna start by taking the fuel filter off. So for the fuel filter, it just looks like a banjo bolt up top and some kind of knot on the bottom. I'll figure that out. All right, I'm back. And holy crap, that fuel filter would not want to come off, but I finally got it off. This is the old one, this is the new one. So you can blow through this one. Let's try this one. You cannot blow through this one. So the fact that I can blow through this one means that it's perfectly good, it's not clogged or anything, and this one is just probably the original one and it's pretty clogged. So yeah, I can't blow anything through this, that means it's clogged. And I can't use it. Alright, I just finished putting everything back on. Well, not everything itself to put like the intake and stuff back on, but I'm gonna prime it and see if it leaks anywhere. I hear a fuel pump. Nothing over here is wet. All right, I'm gonna try priming it a couple more times and check again. I'm only at half a tank, really? All right, one more time. All right. Let me put the intake back on and let's see what it does. All right. Moment of truth. What that tells me is that since it stalled when it did that, is that it was a fuel related problem. It's not leaking. Let's try that again. 
I got a check engine light. I don't know what for. Oh, duh. I forgot to plug in my um, idle air temperature sensor. Yeah, and the light went off. All right, let me try that again. All right, no lights. And it's still fucking hesitating. Like my foot's on the same position on the throttle. It idles a lot better. It's idling super smooth. Right at 1100 RPMs. But when I give it gas, it has a hesitation. So, it's gotten better. It's gotten better. The engine's shaking a lot less and it's blowing white smoke out the exhaust. Now that could be two things. That could be water, because I remember my exhaust did have water in it. Literally had what was like full of water, so it could be water. Could it be a restricted exhaust that's giving it hesitation? Could my catalytic converter be bad? It's better, like it's way better. But I don't know. I'm gonna pack up my tools and drive it up and down my driveway and see if that does anything. So there's definitely water in my exhaust. Let me see if I can dump it all out. Oh yeah, that definitely shot it out. I heard like a pinging. What the fuck was that? My engine's pinging. Whoa. Why is my engine pinging? My engine's pinging, and I don't know why. Could it be the catalytic converter? Maybe. Wait a second, I see smoke pouring from out the back. Well, the exhaust cleared up. this. This doesn't seem like anything. <sighs> oh no, I don't see any leaks. My muffler's leaking water. I wonder if my muffler's broken on the inside. I wonder if that fluttering noise isn't my engine. I'm gonna drive it real quick with the hood open, not super fast because I don't want to fly up in my face. It's pinging. Why is it pinging? So, to be honest, every single video is me trying to diagnose this freaking car. The problem is, is that I could just keep putting new parts on this car because I do know what it needs and what's broken on it, but I don't really have enough money right now. I, I have to save up. It needs a starter. It needs a pulley. And the exhaust smells really bad. Like, bad. And it's not burning oil. I check the oil constantly. It's not burning any oil. Like a detonation problem pinging or the pulley loose or 
I think I actually might just buy the header and downpipe first with no exhaust system just to see how it runs. And I'm not going to drive it around open header the whole time. I just want to do it because to see if I can rule out the exhaust because if I do take the exhaust off it will, you know, rule out another thing. And the problem is, is you know, I'm, I'm working in my backyard with very uneven ground, so I can't have the car jacked up all the time. I do have a driveway, but it's an asphalt driveway, and yeah, I can put pieces of wood down so I can leave the car up on, on jack stands without it sinking, but then I have to, I, then I gotta walk all the way back and forth from my shed. It's like a full half acre, too. I gotta walk back and forth from my shed, uh to my driveway every single time whenever I need a certain tool or because I'm always going to need something different you know put more money into it it's such a bad idea <laughs> but I don't care I don't plan on selling this car if it, even if it has a blown cylinder head or a burnt valve I don't care I'm not getting rid of this car I love this car I only drove it once and that's all I need and getting on this thing full throttle even though it's really <laughs> slow I like it I think it's a lot of fun but um I'm going to end this video off with me sadly just rinsing the bird poop off my car uh, on my trunk and, uh, and on my hood. Apparently bird poop on your car brings good luck. I don't know why someone shitting on your car brings you good luck, but oh well. So I'm going to just rinse the car down. <laughs> And uh, I think that'll be it for this episode. In the next episode, I keep saying I'm going to work on my dad's car and put the bumpers on. But I end up spending my whole entire day trying to diagnose this freaking car. And it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. Alright, next video, I'm going to try and attempt to do my dad's car. And then after that... I'm going to take a look at my truck and see what to do with that.